Hello, welcome to Linux help tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about top command in Linux. Top command is used to monitor the current running process of Linux and Unix based system in real time. It displays the process, the memory being used and other information about the systems. The top command have the several options that we are going to discuss about options presented in top command with examples. The first command in top is only top without any option. Enter. You see the current running process of system will be shown here. A PAID, user, CPU information, memory information, time and each and everything presented in system information will be shown here. And also main thing here load average is monitoring for monitoring purpose of load is shown here. So by using top command, you can see these things. If you after seeing this top performance, if you want to cut this screen means press Q, the top will be screen will be quitted. Now let me see the other options which presented in top. Enter top. The next option is going to see the highlight of the running process using Z press Z in your terminal yes see highlighting the current running process if you want to quit this highlighting process by press again Z it is changed to normal window next thing next command is to check the absolute path which means uh, it will be shown the detail path by pressing C. He has shown the paths detailly which path which process is running at right path that will be shown by pressing C. If you want to quit this window again press C. It changes to normal mode by pressing C to check the current detail of the path. The next, the next option is modify the screen refresh interval. That how means by pressing D. Here now, uh, by default three second will be changed, assigned. So three, uh, each and every three second the screen will be automatically refreshed. If you want to set uh, change higher or lower refresh and time means you can press here now I'm going to change 5 seconds and press enter here value will be assigned for 5 seconds and each and 5 seconds will be screen will be modified that will be shown here by pressing D so next process is to kill the processor by pressing K so by pressing K if you want to kill any running process means you can press K and enter the PAID PID example 20 after pressing 20 you give enter with signal number so the process will be quitted the next option in top is to view the process with high CPU utilization that how means press shift plus P I'm going to quit this window again I'm going to press stop now I'm going to press shift plus P sorry shift plus P Here, see the CPU value will be changing. So this is the to view the process of the high CPU utilization. By continuously pressing means it will be changed up to some high value up to 25 percentage. 
the next option is to view the process with high memory utilization that how means by pressing shift plus m you yes, see before after pressing shift it shows the short by memory utilization by pressing shift plus m again quit the window go back to top now another command next command is to change the priority of the running task that how means by pressing r so which process if you want to change so now i am going to change w get okay so first enter the pid for this w get 68671 and enter so set the priority value i am going to set 1 after enter now see the priority value of duplicate will be changed here duplicate duplicate value will be changed okay this is the way to set the priority of the running process the next option in top is normally you can see the top window it will be running over 18 25 and up to 50 process 50 lines will be running now i am going to short the these lines that how means by pressing n now i want to monitor only 10 lines so i am going to enter 10 if i enter 10 means a 10 line will be shown here so this is the used to filter the uh, top running process by using pressing n option the next option is adding and removing the field field is nothing but this pid user prn and res cpu memory these are the field that how to that remaining field how to view means by pressing f here these are the available field okay if current field a star mar marked star is current working field if you want to hide this field means by pressing a means you can press a in keyboard and again if you want to press e e if i want going to hide the remove the pid and user in top command after that go to main menu see here pid and user will be removed again if you want to add means go to uh, field by pressing f again press a now it will be enabled again you press e it will be enabled now go to main window see the pid and user will be added this two field will be added is one of the important command in top the next the next option in top command is to view the current running process in a specific user the how means top iphone new enter your user now i'm going to see root user performance enter you see the root user performance will be going again skip here you can enter any other user which is present in your system okay by default i giving root here the next option in top is to save the top configuration file that how mean by pressing shift plus w so this is the location to save the top configuration file here only the top configuration file will be saved so next option is to refresh the top screen by pressing a small a here uh, screen will be automatically refreshing the next option is to view the window this top window top window in multiple window that how means by pressing uppercase a so, 
by pressing uppercase A. You see the multi window will be opened. So if you want to quit this window means again press same uppercase A. It will be come to normal window. So that's all about top command. Let me see you on another video. Thank you.